Edius makes working with effect presets super easy. There are some that are installed with the system already. We've got these with the S on this system presets. But if you want to make your own, all you have to do is select the effect or the effects, plural, that you want to turn into a preset inside this information palette. Right click and choose either to save a current user preset, which represents all three effects in one, or separate user preset, which means you'll get a, a user preset for each of the individual effects. Now, in this instance, I'm going to choose Save as Current User Preset, and I'm going to give this an unforgettable name, so I'm going to call this Amazing Preset. You should probably call it something a bit more significant. Now, in this preset, I've got a YUV curve adjustment. I'll just up click so you can see. It's just a bit of an S curve to introduce a little bit more contrast with a natural look to it. I've got some three way color correction adjustments, which are not too subtle. I've got a pretty strong highlight. You can see if I turn this off and on, it's a pretty strong adjustment to the highlights. And then I've got a mask that I've introduced that's giving me this nice vignette. The nice thing about using the mask to create a vignette is you can make the vignette any shape you like. And just for what it's worth, if I go into the mask, you'll notice I've just used the ellipse tool here to make a pretty simple shape. But I've got a YUV curve effect inside part of my mask. And if I go into the settings for that effect, you can see I've just introduced a dip to the gamma there to make the midtones especially darker around the edges of the picture. But if you do create a user preset, which I've just done, then it will incorporate any sub effects if you like. So here, for example, I've got a YUV curve that's inside my mask. The mask is inside my user preset. And so the YUV curve will be as well. And in this way, you can make rather complex multi-layered effects that are all embedded inside the same user preset. And here is my amazing preset. If I want to apply this to another clip, all I have to do is drag and drop it onto a clip like any other. And now you can see I've got the shot Let's have another one. And I'm just applying this to multiple shots on the timeline as I would any other effect. Now, again, when you create a user preset, you're not making a new effect called, in this case, amazing preset. I perhaps need to be a bit more imaginative with that. You can see that when I apply this effect to a clip, what I get is the component parts. I get the individual effects, but they've got previously configured settings. By the by, if you are working with user presets, don't be afraid to right click and choose properties on these and change the information that comes up by default. In fact, let me cancel for a second. If I hover over this, you can see I've got this description, which at the moment just includes a list of items that are incorporated in the preset. But if I right click and do properties, I can select all of this text and I can say something like uh, this is the most amazing uh, finishing color effect oops, ever, 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 or something like that. And again, you should probably choose slightly more subtle text than I have. I'll click OK. And again, now if I hover the mouse over the effect preset, I get my own description. This is really valuable if you're collaborating and sharing effect presets with multiple editors. In fact, if you're really in a hurry to share the effects work you've applied to a clip, and this is very often the case, of course, I find I'm rarely actually making user presets, there are faster ways of doing this. I'm just going to select all of these effects and drag them away. You see I get a trash can icon there, which means I'm going to delete them. I'm going to do the same for this shot, select and drag away. And again, let's go back to this shot, which let's say I'm totally happy with the look of this. I can select these effects that are already configured for one shot and just drag and drop them directly onto another clip on the timeline. And now you can see I've updated this other shot. In fact, if I just undo that for a moment, get rid of those effects, there's an even quicker way. I've got two shots here. Let's say I could, I could have 20 that I want to apply this look to, I can select my original clip with the effects applied and then lasso to select the others. I've just got two here, but again, it could be many. Having done that, I'm now seeing the effects applied to the first clip, but I've made a selection on the timeline of multiple clips. So I can go to my information palette, select these effects, drag and drop them. And you see it's highlighting both clips when I hover the mouse over the top of them. I'm going to release the left mouse button. And now you can see 
both clips have this look. And there's yet another way. If I select one of these clips and press Control C to copy, or I could right click and choose copy, and then select another clip in this sequence, I can right click on that other clip and I can choose replace, and I can choose to replace settings on that clip and filters for that matter based on the clip I last copied. Now, you might have come across this menu in the past if you've used Edis and wondered why much of the time these options are unavailable, and it's because you haven't copied another clip. I have, so I'm going to select this filter option, and lo and behold, I've got my look. And now, if I just undo that again, I'm pressing Control Z to undo. If I select a clip that has the look I want, I press copy, Control C, I can now, if I want to, select the clip I want to replace the filters on and press Alt R. Very easy to remember, it's the alternative replacement. And again, if I right click and choose replace, you can see Alt R is listed here as the keyboard shortcut for this option. So there's several quick and easy ways you can work with effect presets in Edius.